Hi viewers, welcome to Elama Solution. Today we are going to see about EV wind battery based DC microgrid or DC grid. So this is a simulation model of PV wind battery based DC microgrid. So this is consists of wind power generation, PV power generation and and you have battery energy storage system so here you can see that the wind power generation consists of a wind turbine model and then pmsg so pmsg nothing but a permanent magnet synchronous generator and it consists of a universal bridge and then it have boost converter the output of boost converter going to be connected in the common DC bus. So this is a common and DC bus. The wind turbine receiving three inputs. So one is a generated speed, pitch angle and wind speed. So here we are making pitch angle equal to zero. So there is no variation in the wind direction. So just we have to make a pitch angle equal to zero. So here we are measuring the speed of the PMG and it going to be feedback to that uh, the input for the wind turbine and it will receive another input nothing but wind speed so based upon this generated speed and wind speed so it will be generated the uh, torque in per unit so it going to be converted to actual form and then it going to be given to the torque input for a for a for that PMG permanent magnet signal generator and it will be generate the power in the form of AC and also that voltage and voltage will be vary according with the wind speed. So we need to convert that AC quantity into DC quantity. So by means of this universal bridge, so universal bridge nothing but a three phase rectifier, it will be convert AC to DC. Next, we are going to using a uh, boost converter. Normally, after conversion of this AC to DC, the voltage around in the input side around uh, 300, 200 to 300. So, we need to uh, step up the voltage from uh, 200 to 300 to 400. So, by means of this boost converter, and also this boost converter going to be designed based, based upon the input voltage, output voltage, and the power rating of the wind, wind, wind generation model. So here we are consider the wind generation model power is around the 6 kilowatts. So based upon that 6 kilowatts, you have to design the parameter of LNC for this boost converter. And this boost converter will be controlled by means of P and O MPPT. So for that, we need to measure the rectifier voltage and the rectifier current. So that will be input for this P and O MPPT and it will be processed via pendulum generator so it will be generate the pulse for this MOSFET in order to extract the maximum power from the wind generation as well as boost the voltage from 200 to 300 to 400 volt so inside PNDO MPPT so you need to initialize four parameter so that parameter nothing but initial duty cycle maximum duty cycle minimum duty cycle and a small change in duty cycle based upon the condition we are checking as per the PN to MPPT. So next you have to initialize three parameter V volt, P volt, T volt. So this is nothing but the previous instant voltage power and the duty cycle. And initially this, this does not have any value. So you have to initialize that value for V volt, P volt and D volt which is equal to 0, 0 and D initial and then here we are calculating the power of PV and then change in voltage change in power and here we are checking uh, change in power is less than 0 next you have to check change in voltage is less than 0 or not if it is less than 0 we need to decrement the duty cycle or we need to increment the duty cycle that means we are going to adjust the PV voltage uh, towards to that uh, maximum power point of that uh, wind generation system that means we are going to adjust the speed of the 
win, uh, wind turbine model in order to get the maximum power from the wind generation okay so here if suppose the change in power is not less than zero is greater than zero again we need to check change in voltage so based upon change in voltage you have to increment and decrement the you have to cycle and adjust the rectifier voltage that means you have to, uh, is indirectly adjust the speed of the wind turbine not to extract the maximum power from the wind turbine okay so next so after extraction of uh, that maximum power so that going to be injected inside the uh, dc bus or dc microgrid so next you have to see about the pv power generation so this is a pv panel so pv panel consists of uh, eight panel in series and here we are consider three parallel string so total power generation of the pv is around uh, 6 kilowatts and single panel power is 250 watts and voltage at uh, maximum power point is 30.7 and current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps so because of 8 panel in series the voltage across that PV panel is 245 volt and then uh, there are 3 strings is connected in parallel so that means 8 into 3 so around uh, 33 amps can be generated from the PV from this PV array so here you have to step up the voltage from 245 to 400 by, by means of this boost converter and this boost converter will be controlled by means of again P into MPPT so same concept whatever concept we discussed on uh, the MPPT for a wind power generation right so same P into MPPT here also we are applying so here the input of uh, P into MPPT will be PV voltage and current so it will be generated the duty cycle based upon the, based upon the, the P into MPPT uh, condition like change in power change in voltage condition so you need to adjust the duty cycle after that it when you process a pedulum generator then in this uh, pedulum generator will be generate the pedulum pulse so that pulse will be controlled this IGPT of this boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV panel and then the water power generation from the PV is going to be injected to the uh, DC grid or DC bus. So next you have to see about battery system. So here we have battery. So battery rating is 240 volt and 48 AH and it going to be connected to the DC bus. So the DC bus right via this bidirectional converter because why we are using bidirectional converter we need to have current flow in the both direction to charge the battery as well as to charge the battery according with the power balance of the system and this bidirectional converter will be controlled by means of voltage control method so for that we need to measure the DC bus voltage so this is DC bus voltage and it will be compared with the reference voltage of the DC bus so here the DC bus voltage is going to be maintained around to 400 volt. So that's why that reference voltage here we are having 400. It will be compared with the actual DC bus and going to be processed via PA controller. The PA controller will be generated the duty cycle and then it going to be processed via pedulum generated. It will be generated the pulse for that uh, bidirectional converter not to maintain the maintain the DC bus voltage around 400 volt and here we have load so load here we are consider as at 2000 watts and then here changing the wind speed for every 1.5 second from 12 to 10 10 to 8 and then here we are changing the radiation from every one second from 1 to 700 700 to 400 400 to 100 and here we are seeing the result of uh, PV, DC load, battery and then wind side power. So these are the result we are seeing from that uh, the simulation after completion of simulation. Okay. So when the irradiation change right the PV power is uh, 
maintain at the peak power point because of the pain doing BT and also here you can say because of, uh, because of that change in uh, wind speed right the power generation from the wind turbine also uh, tracked at the maximum power point condition so this is a variation of battery voltage in battery current so initially you can see uh, right up to this point right battery in charging mode after this point it going by they are discharging, uh, discharging mode you have to supply the power to the load okay this is the dc bus voltage dc load current and uh, dc load power of the system okay so this is simulation result of the the given simulation model and this is the operation of uh, pv wind battery based uh, dc microgrid in matlab thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye